Hi dear students. Now let's now come to the next topic of standard eight maths chapter number one. That is rational numbers. In the previous video, we have already seen the three topics. That was the natural number, whole number, as well as the integers. Now let's come to the main topic of this chapter. That is the rational number. What is rational number? Say you just write here two. If I say count two, you will count one and two. If I say suppose uh, five, easily you will count yes, friends. One, two, three, four, five. You can count. But if I say one upon six, is it possible to count? No. So such numbers. Such numbers, they are the rational numbers. But we can't say directly that such numbers are rational numbers. But understand and define what is the meaning of these rational numbers. The numbers that can be expressed in the form p by q, which is expressed in the p by q form. It means it should be the p by q form. They are the rational numbers. And what is the? There are certain rules which you should keep in mind. What is P by Q? Always, dear students, keep in mind that P by Q, where P as well as Q, they are integers, they are integers. And integers, you are clear with that topic. It means the natural numbers. It may be positive, it may be negative, or it may be zero. And now, another topic also, you should keep in mind. What is that about the Q? Q. Q is not equal to 0. Q is not equal to 0. Is it clear? Q is not equal to 0. Why? You should have a question in your mind. Why, sir? Q is not is equal to 0. If I give an example for that, this is the example of why Q is not is equal to 0. If I say 5 upon Zero. What would be the question if you divide this? What would be the question? No answer for that. You can take KLC. You can divide 5, divide 0. You will not get the answer. It means simply I can say 0 multiplied by what? Can I say 0 multiplied by what gives me 5? 0 multiplied by what gives me 5? There is no such number. There is no such number. It's not possible and the value is undefined. Value is undefined. It's a clear yes, That's why we never write Q is equal to 0. Q is not is equal to 0. This is the logic behind that. Now, let's come to the examples of uh, which examples? Let do rational numbers. If I write 1 upon 5. Yeah, that you know. That's a rational number. Next, if I say 6 upon 8. Yeah, rational number. It's a rational number. If I say 0, is 0 a rational number or not? Is 0 a rational number or not? We'll see it. Yeah, 0 is a rational number. 0 upon 1. Let's see, is 7. Is 7 a rational number? Yeah, 7 upon 1. Always there is a denominator. Is it clear, dear students? Bye bye, we will come in the next session.